of the weekly vlogs. I'm actually starting from Tuesday today, but we're off to Westfield because those jeans that I bought from Primark, I need to return them basically and there's a few more things I want to get. That's the thing with going to return stuff to Primark, there's always more stuff that you want to get. So that's what I'm going to do now, I've got a big puffer on because the weather right now is not cute. Um, it's not the kind of autumn I was hoping for, I was hoping for like nice crisp cold weather not raining hi guys worst vlogger ever goes to me but in all fairness westfield was so busy and i went to literally only went to primark oh no we have no water like basically like the whole of my area doesn't have water i think there's there's like a 200 meter blockage or something like that and i had obviously had to buy water because my workout and like i just need water and i left it in the car so i'm gonna have to go and get it because she's already at the back door but oh my god guys i came home from jed's earlier my room was pretty much empty and this is it now. Apart from all this, well, that wasn't there, but like my clean clothes were on the bed because I did wash before I went away. That box was there, but all of this is just mess from me being home. So a little bit better. Um, I need to sort out a few more bits tomorrow, but honestly, it's kind of late. Earlier when I was in Asda, I saw this cute little pumpkin and it was only a pound. I thought I can carve this, have it here on, oh my God. You know, I just really want to make my room really cute and autumnal. First time picking up the camera today, but in my defence, I have been working. I had to do like a little presentation at work. Update on the water. We do have water. Well, I hope we do. We did earlier, but we got it this morning. They basically like brought in tankers and rerouted everything. So yeah, we do have water. We also got like a big delivery of water. But my friend messaged me asking if I want to go to Primark with her. I'm just debating whether to wear a hat or not though, because my hair's greasy and I don't look the best. So I've got Jed's hat. I'm loving these colours at the moment, guys. Um, I also have a like a beigey pair of trousers from Topshop. This is what I'm wearing. Just black bag, uh, Primark jeans, and then my young ones. Pretty basic shopping outfit. But yeah, I'm going to decide against the hat. We basically got a delivery of water. Literally like three like crates of bottled water, which I hate. I think we got it delivered because my mum's on a vulnerable, vulnerable list. In Primark now, I love this grey oversized vest. I've never actually been to this Primark. We're in the Rumford one. It's really nice and quiet in here. Absolutely love this grey knit. It's a really, really chunky turtleneck. I think they only have size small, so or I would be getting it. It's £13 if anyone was wondering. How gorgeous is that? Love it. It's so soft as well. Good morning, guys. I'm looking like a complete and utter egg today. Um, did my workout, but obviously, you know, I only wash my hair once a week, so it's up for now. But yesterday, yeah, I didn't get anything in Primark. And then I just went back to Tian's and we watched Towie. <laughs> um, and now me and my mum are off to a post office because there are so, so, so many returns to do from like me. My, she's doing some now for my sister at the post uh, corner shop and my other sister and hers as well. It's the most I've ever taken to a post office. Just having my breakfast whilst watching my babe Emily and this is a chai latte and it's so good guys. So the chai is from a company called Minor Figures which I think is actually local to me. It's actually my sister's but she said I could have some and it's so 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 good. If you love chai you need this because it's actually not bad for you either. If you're a chai lover like me I definitely recommend. Really really nice from Minor Figures and I've just got a bit of oat milk um, and just frothed it all up with the froth from the coffee machine and it's delicious. So it's lunch time today. I'm literally working from my bed and eating from my bed today because it's so rainy and cold outside but also my mum's in the kitchen busy so quite noisy in there but I've got avocado on toast and this is my first time trying sriracha. Let's try this. Mm. Oh my god that is so nice. I can now see why people are obsessed with it. I have like a little cut on my lip though here and I got right in it. <laughs> it was really stinging. But no yeah sriracha on avocado is a big one for me that is so paying mm. i'm off to the hospital today because i have a pre-op just came to the door and literally gave me the biggest fright of my life i don't actually know like well i know where to go but not really because i was meant to have a letter and it never came so that's fun i've never have i been for a pre-op before i don't know if i went for a pre-op when i got my scar revision done or not um hopefully it shouldn't take too long but i'm eating emily's day um, later after my pre-op we're going out we're gonna go to some charity shop hopefully gonna get some nice autumn pics today so that should be fun so i'm now home i'm actually running late to go meet emily i've just gotten ready i'm not wearing this so but i'm actually running late but it's not my fault it took us the sat level's being weird on the way home because basically i had to go to a different hospital not my local one because i'm not doing orthopedics there anymore got my blood taken had to like a little swab of my nose and like my groin area um and then just like the, all the usual checkups for the 
um pre-op so yeah that's all done i'm gonna have to go meet emmy now she i feel so bad because she's gonna be wondering she's probably almost she's basically nearly there i haven't left it doesn't actually take me that long but i'm really quickly gonna get dressed i haven't seen emily in quite a not it hasn't been ages the weeks go so quickly at the moment it doesn't feel like that long but it has been quite a while Hello. <laughs> i'm with emily now Hello. we're at um kings yeah. and road Dalston, but we're in some charity shops i'm also filming charity shop videos i haven't found anything as of yet but we have only been in two Serious. <gasps> oh, my gosh, what? We're in Costa. I've just got an oat latte. I did want to find a Starbucks, but there isn't one here. There's only Costa, so no pumpkin spice latte for me yet. Still haven't had one this year, and I'm kind of upset about it. I'm literally obsessed with Emily in Paris. I watched the whole thing last night. I love this bag. How much was it? So nice. I don't know, actually. ASOS. Yeah. Is it sold out now? Probably. So nice. I think I saw it in black, actually, on there. Yeah, they have really nice. I want to get a um, new tote bag. So, Emily has just gone home. We were going separate ways. I actually just missed mine, so I had to wait like 15 minutes, another like nine minutes. So, it's a really long way home. The last time um, I was vlogging, this man literally at the station was literally staring at me and started laughing. And oh my god, it made me so uncomfortable. And he was literally just staring at me on the platform, and I could tell he was like smiling and like laughing, like under his mask for about like five minutes but whatever i'm never gonna see him again in my life i've been ordering these boots from boohoo and they keep sending me the wrong ones oh they sent me the right ones now finally they must have like sorted out don't mind all of this these are some different boots that i ordered but yeah these are perfect length for me i love them on other people but on me they just didn't look right the ones that are like come higher up your legs so these are like a nice calf length and they've got like this kind of like it reminds me of like a rhino fit if i'm honest um really chunky sole really really cool lace up and then obviously they've got the um zip here quite a few places sell these so i will link any that are in stock down below these are the ones that i ordered the ones that i now have and these are the ones that they sent me the same boot but in crocodile print and it was so frustrating so you're gonna have to let me off guys i'm getting back into the swing of this like weekly vlogging thing i think i'm gonna do like one one once a month i had every intention of picking up the camera today but i was filming in the morning i filmed my primark call which is now up and was obviously editing it but last night i said i was gonna have like a chill night but my friend actually ended up coming around and we watched um oh, rocks on netflix really good actually really recommend that but yeah she literally messaged me she's like you talk too fast need to slow it down hon and i watched my video back and oh my god I honestly shocked myself like I don't know who I think I am like I must think I'm Buster Rhymes or something but in the intro I'm talking so fast that's the second person now to comment on how fast I talk in YouTube videos and I really need to slow down I don't even realize I'm doing it but anyway I'm gonna have that chill evening today because this skin is not okay but my sister came home earlier with these they're orange inside and we were looking for them and couldn't find oh no they actually have um spiderweb on the front as well and i love oreos and obviously we can't really do anything for halloween this year we're probably not able to do anything to be honest so um yeah i'm probably gonna have a spooky evening in i'm just i'm an hourring about making an order on asos um because they've got 20 percent off sale as well and i really want a brown coat i did want this one but it literally went out of stock so quickly um, it's actually very similar to my navy one I have so I'm looking at this one it's also brown the only thing I'm not too sure on is the silver bits here but I think I might just order it and see because it will only be £28 but I don't know what size to get and I was also looking at this blue pinstripe blazer but I'm not it looks quite thin so I'm not sure well I don't know what sizes they are I'll have to google that I don't know what size I mean I used to work in Zara and we used to do sizes um like it was eurovision eurovision oh my god it was european sizes but i've completely forgotten thought i would just sit down here and show you guys two new pairs of shoes that i bought so one of them's actually a pair of boots that i got from boohoo i just started flushing bread so i'm gonna have to be quite quick with this but the first pair of the shoes boots from boohoo i've been after a pair of they're not over the knee they're just below the knee but i've been after a pair of boots like this for ages and i was umming and arm between white and black and i thought do you know what i'm just gonna go for different i'm gonna go for the they're more like a creamy white and then they've got this really chunky thick sole thick 
heel and you can see it kind of like comes out the back there but i really really liked these i really, really like these a lot i think they were 30 i had a five pound voucher from boohoo but i think i can't remember how much they were but they were 30 some 31 maybe with the five pound voucher um but yeah i haven't worn them as of yet it's been very very rainy yeah, i haven't had the chance to wear them yet because it has been raining in london i don't want to ruin them but i see these styled up on pinterest and they look amazing i used to have a pair of like over the knee high boots and this year i really just felt like getting a pair of boot boots i mean i don't know why this year when i'm probably not going to get to wear them that much because let's be honest like not really going out a lot but i'll still love them next year so it's all fine but yeah i don't know why i decided this year and didn't get some last year but yeah absolutely love those i'll link those down below because i think yeah they are still in stock i'll link those ones they also have them in black like i said okay now next these are part birthday present and part and then i put the rest towards them so part of a birth no they were my birthday present from jez from you can tell i'm tired so they were a birthday present from jed and then i put the rest of the money towards them my sister does get 50 percent off at her work and i've wanted them for so long so i thought do you know what, I might as well get them whilst there's 50% off because really I'm never going to get 50% off them again. I got some Balenciagas. So I got the Track 2. I've been wanting Track 2s for so long. I haven't worn them yet. I'm really actually kind of nervous to wear them because I don't want to get them ruined. Obviously it's been raining literally all the time now as well again another reason why i haven't been able to wear them same as the boots because i don't want to ruin them when me and emily were out once i did actually go to harrods um i wasn't actually planning on doing it just thought i'll try some balenciagas on to see what size i am so it doesn't saves me the hassle of like ordering different shoes and i tried the triple s on and then i tried the track two on and i decided that i i did like the triple s but i just prefer the design of the track two so much more like this i think the design is so nice and intricate so these are the ones that I went for. Until I ordered them, I hadn't really seen this colourway anywhere and then colourway anywhere. And then me and Jed were in Selfridges the other day. And he actually, that was the first time I actually showed him in person because he hasn't been to my house since I got these. Oh, I got these ages ago as well. Um, but yeah, this is the colourway that I went for. It's like a, can you see that up close? So like silver, white, black, and like a neon yellow, which I think is so, 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 so cool. They're really different to any of my other shoes that i have i believe the track they're heavier and chunkier than the track two but i do really like some of the colorways of the track two i really really like the orange ones they're really nice i don't think i would ever spend this much on trainers again and these were half price i don't know how people go out and buy them full price because honestly i could never i've just put the lush mask of magna minty i think that's how you say it um face mask on in hopes that it will sort my skin out i've just put the haunting of bly manor on i'm 23 minutes in and a little girl has said perfectly splendid about 50 times already and my sister said she says it every single episode i loved the haunting of hill house if you haven't if you guys haven't watched that you should watch it although it kind of was a little bit scary um jed and i watched that one together but i'm like this one about you sorry jed but yeah i kind of did a rubbish job on this side past week i've just or even like two three weeks two weeks to be honest i've just felt really lazy to put it bluntly and like even I'm still working out but like I don't have that motivation and to do it as much as I was before and something in me has shifted but it needs to shift back. I don't know if there's anything like in retrograde at the moment but something's going on. Because I work from my bedroom like I find it really hard to differenti differentiate, can't say the word, between like work and everything else so to me if I was to then film it would feel like it feels like work. I'm gonna get back to watching this now. Yeah. Florida, because it's almost my name. Mm -hmm. That's right. The kids in this are so weird. It's like, just so gorgeous. They just seem really weird. Well, the girl says perfectly splendid a lot, but the boy seems a little bit weird.